also hear thank you. Keep up, darling! Heckling in the RSC. Um, this is a presentation by the RSC. Obviously, um, they are most known for uh, Shakespeare. What you're going to see this evening is not Shakespeare. It is an example of the kind of contemporary classic. Contemporary classic that the RSC wants to present in the future. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only time we've got before this place turns into a madhouse. Look, I've got a million and one things to do. It'll have to be some other time, okay? But don't look at me like that. I know what you want to talk about anyway. Yeah? Yeah. The staffing problems. I mean, is it my fault everybody's walked out? Question is, what are we going to do about it? I'm not talking about the staffing problems. I know what you're talking about. It's the bar work, in it. When was the last time we had a day off? I'm trying to tell you something. Communicate, talk. I'm not on about the start, I'm on about our future, and it's important. So just shut up and listen. Oh, exactly. Every time we talk about our future, I have to shut up and listen. It's typical. Look, I've thought long and hard about what I'm going to say to you, and it's the hardest thing I'm ever going to have to say to you, all right? So... I spent hours walking around this morning with Rowley, trying to work out the best way to put it. <laughs> Well, you better go round again. Check you've got your lines right. Rehearse it all over again. How long have we been married? Well, you're not saving up for our silver wedding already, are you? Eighteen years. And in the beginning, it was good. We both wanted the same things, and we both worked damn hard to get them. Well, that's what I keep telling you. Yeah. And then the bubble burst. The dream faded. There ain't no big house in Rygate. There ain't no patter of tiny feet. All we've got is this shambles, this pretense, these lies. No, I haven't got time to deal with that. Will you stop it? Will you stop avoiding the issue? Will you stop making this difficult? Just come downstairs. No. Come downstairs. Doing well, twist the beat you rehearsed with Rowley. 
There's no love, no warmth, nothing. It's all gone. All we've got is rose and bitterness. We ain't even got a sex life. You can't have a marriage without that, can you? Some people do. Not me. Because if we still had that, then maybe I'd put up with all the rest of it. If we had that, everything would be different. Well, it's madness. I don't know how we've stuck it out for so long. Because I hung on like a bloody limpid, you bastard. What? For practical reasons, I expect. Now, I want a clean break, Anne. It's not just from you, but from this pub. <laughs> from this square. <laughs> from Walford. <laughs> I see. I'll leave you the business, all right? Without me here to cause you trouble, you're bound to be able to run this place with one hand tied behind your back. No trouble. And what are you going to do when the dust comes off your twinkle toes? We'll get another pub, I suppose. <laughs> oh, then. The penny drops. That's what you've been hacking with Wilmot Brown, innit? <laughs> Getting him to find you a new pub. Yeah. <laughs> Will he? He already has. Well, he's got a pub in mind. He just needs to work out the details. Right. And how are you going to run it on your own without me to do the books? Jan will do the books. Oh yeah. I wonder when we get round to her. She moving in with you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, silly question. Marriage. No, it's too... I said marriage! <laughs> yes. So you and me are talking divorce? Yeah. I suppose so, yeah. straight in my mind. Well, I want to be straight, Anne, so I want to be dead straight. It's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Just as our marriage is ending, I actually feel the need to be honest with you for the first time. I want to be civilised. I want to be honest with you. Oh, well, to Kevin, you don't overdo it, then. Why do you like blow a fuse? Why are we here talking about why our marriage failed? Because of her. It's because of her. We're here talking about the bleeding divorce, innit? <laughs> Jan, it's just a symptom. If things were all right between us, I'd never have looked at her. You're a bleeding hypocrite. Okay, it is because of Jan that things aren't right now between us, but it comes down to the same thing. I love her, and sex is. Don't say it! Civilized about this, aren't we? I agree with you. I agree with everything you say. If you love her, and we're no good together, then we're better off apart, aren't we? So you can have your divorce. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I know when I'm beat. <laughs> it's no good 